Hey what's going on guys, my name is Lee and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the glowing edges effect in Adobe Photoshop. This effect makes images look sharper and are really good for Minecraft renders. This method is really easy to remember so don't worry. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into Photoshop and this is the render I'm going to be using for this tutorial. So once you've got your image, what you want to do is select the layer and then press Ctrl J and that basically just duplicates the layers don't merge them or anything just leave them exactly like that make sure you're on the top layer and then go to image mode and then click on 8 bit slash channel you need to do this or else the filter gallery options won't be available so now go to filter make sure you're on the top one still go to filter and click on filter gallery and then go ahead and go into stylize and click on glowing edges and just keep default options that's completely fine make sure you leave it on glowing edges don't change it to anything else so just click on that and then click ok and as you can see this will appear don't worry it's not going to look like this it's going to look way better and what you want to do now still being on the top layer is go ahead and select the eraser tool that should be this one if it's not selected then just right click on it and click the eraser tool and then just click and rasterize the smart object so you can actually edit it and stuff it doesn't matter it's not going to change anything really but now what you want to do is just go ahead and set the opacity to 50 and the flow to 100 and you can make the size whatever you want and use the square brackets to change the size so the open bracket would be smaller and the closed bracket would be uh, making it bigger so I'm just going to go ahead and have that size. As long as you hold left click and then just erase the whole image, then it's fine. Just go over it. Don't let go and then um, and then erase it anymore because that's just going to make it so you erase more. But if you're just holding left click, it, already, it would only erase it one time. So now what you want to do is just go ahead and set the opacity to something around 10%. It depends on your render. So as you can see, it went from 100 like that to 10 like that. I use 10 for my renders, well, especially for the skins and stuff like that. I just think it's the best. So that's basically what it looks like without it. It looks a bit smoother, but with this, it looks a bit sharper and overall just looks a lot better. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, then smash that like button and subscribe for more tutorials and any other videos you want me to do. Make sure you comment on my last video uh, asking for video ideas. So yeah, make sure you comment on that. Thanks for watching. My name's Lee, and thanks for watching. I just said that. <laughs> oh my God. Where's my mouse?